long day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Atalanta against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, cheers, Derek. These home fans are going to enjoy this. They surely must. With the team coming as... And attempting the through ball. Excellent position taken up by Mbappe. Ilicic. The starting 11 for Atalanta. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. Really a very poor ball. Gomez. They've regained possession. Now the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. Ilicic. Zapata. It's got to be! Keeper did his job to begin with. That is what you call a guilt-edged opportunity not taken. Well, you visualise a game before you play it, and I'm pretty sure he probably in his sleep visualised an open goal, and he's just fluffed his lines. And fed forwards. And they could do damage. Kylian Mbappe, does he mean business? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. And back in business, advantage PSG. And they'll have to throw it back in play. In possession at De Boer. Gomez. Couldn't keep the ball. Di Maria. It's an excellent attack from PSG. But will there be an end product? It is to be a throw in. An incisive pass. Well, a long-range effort, but into the goalkeeper's midriff. Yeah, the hardest thing is picking the flight up. Once he's done that, it's pretty simple. Gomez. Duvan Zapata. Gozens. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Couldn't keep it. PSG possession stats are pretty bad, but... Good visualisation and execution. Mbappe, here's Icardi, well, visionary passing, it could be for Mbappe, he did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner, taking the corner, Di Maria, and he takes on the shot, and putting his body on the line, the corner kicks keep on coming, and firing it into the area, well, the clearance, half-hearted. Di Maria. 
And in the back of the net for PSG, the lead extended to two now. Well, we're going to see that again, and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this headed goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Mbappe tries his luck. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And given away. And he takes it on. Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Well, we always think we know exactly what we saw, but on these occasions, the goal decision system comes in handy, Lee. Well, not on this occasion, because it wasn't a goal, and we can all see it. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Now, what does Di Maria have in store for the defenders? Promising looking ball. Kylian Mbappe. It really is such a free scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike! Let's go back to the goal that was scored. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. It's with Robin Gosens. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Gomez. Zapata. Not what he was intending, bad pass. It's with Paredes, and showing fine vision. And up for grabs off the keeper. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Alejandro Gomez has it. And he's taken it away. A possession lost, intercepted. Dangerous looking attack. Thiago Silva's block. Goalkeeper's ball, and was always going to be. Exquisite pass from Di Maria. Mbappe. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. Paredes, Di Maria, Mbappe, it could be up for grabs, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp at the second time of asking, but first time around, it was a good deal more complicated. Oh, it was a fabulous save initially, he gets the ball in the end with great relief. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. Icardi, cleared away comprehensively. PSG couldn't keep it. So 20 minutes to go. Ilicic. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. And a substitution in the offing. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. Here's Icardi. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Let's have another view of that goal. Again, this game very much over as a contest. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Gorsens. Timothy Castagna. Malinowski. Castagna. 
And moving the ball nicely. Here's Mbappe. Icardi. He's in with a chance. The net is steering him in the face. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick. Fully deserved. Well done indeed. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Now, Palomino here. Gomez. Timothy Castagna. Luis Muriel. Alejandro Gomez has it. Malinowski, far from a good pass. Now can they counter clinically? Icardi, excellent vision. It could be for Mbappe. And it's gone in! Well, as we can see from the replay, they've got so much pace in their side, haven't they? Always look dangerous on the counter. And it was a wonderful example of that. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. One minute remaining. They've given it away. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Neymar thrives on running at defenders case of foiling the opposition by whatever means and that is all for this game it's an ideal start for Paris Saint-Germain they have three points from their first game in the Champions League yeah really really